yesterday we have seen how to write differential equation governing the mechanical system for the given mechanical system we have seen now let us see how to obtain electrical analogous system the first thing is uh, we have to write the mechanical model for this now no need to write uh, pre body diagram the examination you have to draw but by looking at the diagram we can directly write but in the examination it is better to put pre body diagram for the sake of mass m1 d square x1 by dt square plus K1 X plus V1 DX1 by DT plus this K2 is connected with the M1. Therefore, K2 X1 minus X2 equal to F of the applied force. This is the first equation. The second equation is M2 d square x2 by dt square. This is for mass. Then for another element connected is this k2. Therefore, k2, here the reference is displacement is x2. Therefore, x2 minus x1 plus k3 x2 minus x3 plus B2 D by DT of X2 minus X3 equal to 0. No applied force. For third mass, M3 D square X3 by DT square plus K3 X3 minus X2 plus B2 D upon DT x3 minus x2 equal to 0. No applied force. These are the three mechanical equations. What is analogous electrical system? M should be replaced by L1. L1 d square q1 by dt square plus k equal to what? 1 by c1 q1 plus R1 dq1 by dt plus k2 again 1 by c2 q1 minus q2 plus sorry equal to v of t applied voltage. Now we know that dq by dt equal to i and q equal to integral of i dt. dq by dt equal to i and q equal to integral of i dt. So if you replace this in terms of i, what you will get? L1 d i1 by dt. Because one derivative reduced. Because dq by dt equal to i. Therefore, if you differentiate once again, you will get di by dt equal to t square q by dt square. Therefore, we can write a di by dt, L1 di by dt plus 1 by C1, q equal to what? Integral of i dt. Therefore, integral of i1 dt plus dq by dt equal to i. Therefore, R1 i1 plus 1 by C2, q1 minus q2. q1 equal to what? Integral of, integral of i1 minus i2 dt equal to v of t. So we got in terms of current. We got in terms of current. What and all we got? 
uh, similarly for second equation also we can write l2 l2 d square q2 by dt square plus k2 is equal to what 1 by c2 q2 minus q1 plus 1 by c3 q2 minus q3 plus b2 equal to what r2 d by dt of dt of q2 minus q3 equal to 0. So if you write this in terms of current, what you will get L2 d i1 by dt plus 1 by c2 integral of i2 minus i1 dt plus 1 by c3 integral of y q equal to what integral of i dt therefore integral of i2 minus i3 dt plus r2 multiplied by i2 minus i3 equal to 0. This is second equation in terms of current. Third equation in terms of charge equal to L3 d square q3 by dt square plus 1 by c3 q3 minus q2 plus 1 by c2 q3 minus q2 equal to 0. That's all. No applied force. So if you take this equation, if you take this equation, this is the second Kirchhoff's voltage, voltage law equation. This if you write this in current L3 d i3 by dt plus 1 by c3 integral of i3 minus i2 dt plus 1 by c2 integral of integral of something wrong here i3 i2 minus i3 i2 minus i3 Third equation, how many you will get? K3, B2. 1 by C3, B2 equal to. B2 equal to what? R2. R2. D by DT of Q3 minus Q equal to 0. That is equal to R2 multiplied by I3 minus I equal to 0. If you consider these three equations, we can draw the electrical analogous of mechanical system. What is the first element? L1. There are three loops are there. Three loops are there. Three loops are there. Three loops are there. The current through the first loop is I1. Current through the first loop is I1. Current through the second loop is I2. Current through the third loop is I3. What is current through this path? In this direction, I1 minus. If you see in this direction, I2 minus I1. If you see in this direction, I1 minus I2. While considering first loop, I1 minus I2. While considering second loop, I2 minus I1. Because we are considering this direction as positive. Okay, three loops are there. If you consider the first equation, L1 d I1 by dt. That is, only I1 is flowing. Therefore, we can draw this in any one of these three sides. We can draw this in any one of three sides. A, B. C, D. Except B, C, you can draw either at A, B or A, D or B, C. So, we will write at A, B. Inductor L1. 
then 1 by c1 integral of i1 only current only that also we can draw at uh, across ab this is c1 then r1 i1 that is also i1 only we can draw either here or here only i1 has to flow we will draw here r1 hmm. L1, C1, R1. Then C2. The current through C2 is I1 minus I2. Therefore, C2 must be here. Two currents are flowing through that. I1 and I2. Then VFT is the applied voltage that is in the first loop only. That is here. VFT. That's all. First equation is over. Consider the second equation L2 L2 I2 mm -hmm. L2 I2 DI2 by DT L2 DI2 by DT only I2 is flowing therefore we have to draw here L2 then 1 by C2 I2 minus I1 already we have drawn that C2 therefore no need to draw now 1 by C3, it is between second loop and third loop. Therefore, it should be here. This uh, capacitor is here. C3. R2. R2 is between I2 and I3. That is also here. R2, C3. How many elements? Inductor 1. This capacitor already down, drawn, second C3 drawn, third and R2, four elements, one, two, three, four elements. That's all. So we can complete the second loop. <laughs> third loop, L3. Through L3, only I3. Therefore, we have to draw here L3. C3. C3 is between I2 and I3, already drawn. R2 is between I3 and I2 already drawn. That's all. So we can close this. That's all. This is electrical analogous system of mechanical system. This is called voltage analogy. Voltage analogy. Voltage analogy. Force voltage analogy. We can say that force voltage analogy because force is analogous to voltage. Therefore, force voltage analogy. In the same way, we can obtain force current analogy. That is also possible. Force current analogy. For here, what is the source used here? The source is voltage source. Voltage source. If you use a current source, then it is called force current analogy. Force current analogy. What is the difference between voltage source and current source? What is the difference between voltage source and current source? Ideal voltage source. Ideal current source. What is the difference? When we can say a uh, voltage source is an ideal voltage source. <laughs> Suppose I am having a 5 volt ideal voltage source means I can take any amount of current from that voltage source. Its voltage remains 5 volt. Its voltage remains 5 volt. Then it is called ideal voltage source of 5 volt. Similarly, current source means the current remains constant. Any number of, uh, suppose I am connecting one resistor, the same amount of current flow through that resistor. If I connect two resistors in series, then also the same amount of current will flow through this. Then it is called current source. It will give same amount of current irrespective of number of load it's very difficult to imagine because we practiced to imagine only voltage source. 
uh, current source means even voltage will vary current remains constant the amount of current given by the source remains constant the number of parallel paths if you include so the same amount of current will be divided into many branches for that we will use kirchhoff's current law that you will see kirchhoff's current analogy means the circuit will be with current source so for this uh, this is this is the circuit in which current source is there one resistor one inductor and a capacitor are in parallel so what is the equation i1 current through this is i1 current through this is i2 current through this is i3 what is uh, applied this current coming from this is i of t total current is i of t i of t equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 what is current through this path all are in parallel that's why voltage is same voltage across each element is same applied voltage is v therefore i1 equal to v by r i2 equal to what l dv by dt plus hmm, what is uh, what is uh, sorry uh, 1 by l sorry 1 by l integral of v dt voltage across the inductor is 1 by l v dt plus c dv by dt voltage across the current through the capacitor is c dv by dt the current through the inductor is 1 by l 1 upon l integral of v dt so the equation is 1 by 1 upon l integral of v dt v by r c dv by dt this is uh, one is i1 this is i1 i2 and i3 total current is i always it remains same for a current source but we know that v equal to rate of change of flux d phi by dt r phi equal to integral of v dt if we bring this dt this side and integrate on both sides we will get phi equal to integral of v dt this you should remember therefore we can write v equal to d phi by dt therefore dv by dt equal to d square phi by dt square c d square phi by dt square v equal to what d phi by dt so we can write like this integral of v dt equal to phi therefore phi by phi upon l so we can write in terms of phi also rate of change of flux equal to voltage this is rate of change of flux equal to applied voltage across the element so this is identical to mechanical equation you 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 go to that again this sum it's uh, again what is the first equation m1 d square x1 by dt square plus k1 dx1 by dt plus b1 sorry k1 x1 plus b1 dx1 by dt plus this k2 for this k2 what we can write k2 multiplied by x1 minus x2 equal to applied force f of t so now we can write uh, in terms of uh, force current analogy force current analogy so force current analogy is uh, m is identical to c x is identical to flux b is identical to 1 by r dx by dt equal to v already we have seen k equal to 1 by l 
k equal to 1 by L, B is 1 by R. Earlier, B equal to R, now B equal to 1 by R. Anyhow, there is no change in B. Earlier R, now 1 by R. But uh, earlier in the force um, uh, voltage analogy, M is identical to L. Similarly, K is identical to C, 1 by C. Here, 1 by L. That is the only difference. Instead of R, earlier B is identical to R. Now 1 by R. That is the difference. So wherever you find M, replaced by C. Replaced by C. Wherever you find B, replaced by 1 by R. Wherever you find K, replaced by 1 by L. You will get electrical force current analogy. So what uh, we have to do, wherever you find M replaced by C1, D square phi 1 by DT square plus K1. What we have to do for K? Uh, for K, what we have to do? 1 by L. So we have to put 1 by L1, 1 by L1, 5, 1 plus B equal to 1 by R1, D51 by DT plus K2 should be replaced by 1 by L2, Y1 minus Phi2 equal to I of T. Now we have to write in terms of voltage. D5 by DT equal to what? Voltage. Therefore, C1 D V1 by DT plus 1 by L1 phi equal to what? Integral of we have already written this. Phi equal to integral of V DT. Therefore, integral of V1 DT plus D5 by DT equal to V. Therefore, V1 by R1 plus 1 by L2. 1 by L2. Therefore, 1 by L2 integral of V1 minus V2 equal to I of T. We got one equation. The same way we can write for mass 2. M2 D square x2 by dt square plus k2 x2 minus x1 plus k3 x2 minus x3 plus b2 dx2 upon dt x2 minus x3 equal to 0. If you re replace this by current analogy, C2 D square phi 2 by DT square plus K2. K2 means 1 by L2 phi 2 minus phi 1 plus K3 1 by L3 phi 2 minus phi 3 plus B2 equal to 1 by R2 D by DT of phi 2 minus phi 3 equal to 0. So now we can write uh, in terms of voltage C2 D V2 by DT plus 1 by L2 integral of V2 minus V1 DT plus 1 by L3 integral of V2 minus V3 DT plus V D5 by DT is voltage V2 minus V3 divided by R2 equal to 0. This is second equation. We have to write the third equation. What is third equation? Third equation is M3 D square 
x2 x3 by dt square plus k3 x3 minus x2 plus b2 d by dt of x3 minus x2. No applied force, therefore equal to 0. This is third equation. If you write in terms of current m3 is c3 d square phi 3 by dt square plus what is k3? k3 should be replaced by 1 by L3, 1 by L3, phi 3 minus phi 2 plus 1 by R2, D by DT of phi 3 minus phi 2 equal to 0. Now, if you write in terms of voltage, D phi by DT equal to V voltage. If you write to use that, you will get C3, D phi 3 by DT sorry, dv3 by dt plus 1 by L3, phi equal to integral of v3 minus v2 dt plus 1 by dt r2 multiplied by v3 minus v2 equal to 0. This is third equation. Three equations are there. Three equations are there. This is one equation. This is second equation. This is third equation. Now we have to draw the circuit. That's all. KCL circuit. We are doing in the reverse direction. In circuit theory, electric circuit analysis, for given circuit you wrote KCL. Here, for the given equation, you have to draw the circuit. That's all. Reverse process. So, first equation consists of how many elements? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements, including I of T. How many voltages are there? V1, V2, V3. Therefore, three nodes are there. If you include one more reference node, four nodes are there. Three equation means four nodes. One node will be taken as a reference node. So, what we can do is, we have to take one reference node. We have to take one reference node. This is the reference node. Reference node. Another three nodes, one is V1 node. Another node is V2 node. Third node is V3 node. Three nodes are taken. V1, V2, V3. One node taken as reference. If four nodes are there, we will write three equations. One node will be taken as reference. Then we will go to the first equation. First equation says C1 dV1 by dt. It is the voltage across this capacitor is only V1 only. Therefore, what we have to do is across V1 and reference, V1 and reference, we have to draw the capacitor C1. Then again, go to that equation. Second, L1 by L1 integral of V1. Again, only V1. Therefore, we come here and draw an in inductor and connect to the same reference L1. Again, go to that equation. V1 by R1. V1 upon R1. One resistor, only applied voltage is V1 only. V1 only. Therefore, again, take here one resistor R1. Then go to this circuit. 1 by L2 voltage across V1 and V2. This inductor is across V1 and V2. Therefore, what we have to do is we have to draw this inductor between V1 and V2. This is V2. This is V2. L2 is between V1 and V2. Then again come here. The right hand side is the applied current source is I of T. 
that also in the first node in the first node therefore we can draw that also current source in the first node i of t that's all about first equation now go to the second equation second equation c2 dv2 by dt only across c2 only v2 is applied therefore the c2 will be like this c2 between v2 and the reference come again l2 is between v2 and v1 already drawn l2 is between v2 and v1 see that l2 is between v1 and v2 l2 is between v1 and v2 already drawn L3 is between V2 and V3. L2 is between V2 and V3. L2 is between V2 and... Sorry. L3 is between V2 and V3. And R2 is between V2 and V3. R2 is also between V2 and V3. That is also between... That is also between V2 and V3. R2. Yes, R2. R2 is between V2 and V3. R2 is between V2 and V3. No sources in node 2 and node 3. That's all for about second. Third node. C3 is between V3 and reference. Here, C3 is between V3 and the reference. Therefore, we have to draw one more capacitor between V3 and the reference. <laughs> that is C3. Then come to that equation. L3 already drawn. L3 already drawn. R2 already drawn. That's all. This is a circuit, but it looks ugly. Huh? That's why we have to draw again. We'll draw here. We'll draw here current source I of T, I of T, R1, R1, C1, C1, L1, L1, then this is V1. This is also V1. This is also V1. No element is connected. That's why all are in V1. Between V1 and V2, this is V2. L2 is connected. L2 is connected. Between V2 and C2, between V2 and C2, C2, uh, sorry, between V2 and the reference, C2 is connected. This is reference. Between V2 and V3, L3 is connected. This is V3. Between V3 and V2 and V3, R2 is connected. Between V3 and the reference, C3 is connected. That's all. Now it looks good. Same set code, but we redrawn like this. This is to understand. So everything is between reference and some node that's why I drawn like this but both are same this is force current analogy of given mechanical system force current analogy of mechanical system current source is theoretical source current source is theoretical source nowadays current sources are available current sources are available but uh, you cannot buy like uh, battery like current source. A device will be available that will give current, constant current. That will give constant current. Such current sources are available. So you can do this experiment also. So if you want to simulate a mechanical system in the electrical way, you have to find this analogy. Uh, 
obtain the mathematical model right do it yourself obtain the mathematical model of the mechanical system shown in figure how many equations you will get three equations because three masses are there m1 m2 m3 that's why you will get three masses draw free body diagram then write the equation what are the forces acting on it displacement in m1 is x1 displacement in m2 is x2 displacement in m3 is x3 The first equation is M1, M1, D square X1 by DT square plus K1, X1 minus X2. Why? Because it is connected between first mass and second mass. That's why X1 minus X2 plus B1 D upon DT of only X1 because another reference is one end is connected to mass one, another end is connected to refer, uh, reference. Equal to zero, no applied force in the first mass. What is second equation? M2 T square X2 upon DT square plus K1 X2 minus X1 plus K3 one end is fixed to M2 another end is reference that's why K3 another end is fixed therefore K3 X2 only plus B2 D by DT of X2 minus x3 applied force is there f of t therefore e equal to f of t this is second equation third mass m3 d square x3 by dt square plus we can write b2 d upon dt of x3 minus x2 plus k2 multiply one end is fixed therefore k2 x3 equal to zero no applied force that's all. Three equations we got. Now let us find the force. Let us find the force voltage analysis. Force voltage analysis. For that, what we have to write? L1 T square Q1 by dt square plus K1 equal to what? For force 1 by C1, 1 by C1, Q1 minus Q2 plus R1, DQ1 by DT equal to 0. This can be written as, this can be written as L1, DI1 upon DT plus 1 by C1 integral of i1 minus i2 dt plus dq by dt dq uh, q1 yes q1 is i1 i1 r1 i1 r1 i1 equal to 0 similarly if you consider the second equation what you will get l2 d I2 by dt directly will write d i2 by dt plus k1 equal to water 1 by c1 i2 minus i1 dt integral plus k3 k3 1 by C3 integral of 
I2 dt plus B2 R R2 multiplied by I2 minus I3 equal to F of t. Sorry, V of t. V of t. This is second equation. This is first equation. This is second equation. Third equation, L3 di3 upon dt plus huh? time up, one minute. We'll write the third equation and finish. L3 di3 by dt plus what is 1 by uh, B2 equal to 1 by C2. B2 equal to 1 by C2. Sorry, R2. R2 I3 minus I2. Plus K2 equal to what? 1 by C2 integral of I3 dt equal to 0. That's all. So now we have to draw the circuit. We have to draw the circuit. There are three equations. Three equations. Here, you have to notice that I2 minus I3. So, there is an element between second loop and third loop. Second loop and third loop. Second loop and third loop. If you consider the first equation, first loop and second loop. Sometimes 1 and 3 will come. No, no such uh, problem here. That's why only three loops. Three loops are there. The first loop L1 is there. Current through this is I1. Current through this is I2. Current through this is I3. The first loop L1 is there. L1. C1 is between first loop and second loop. C1. R1 is in the first loop only. So we can draw here R1. That's all. In the second equation, if you consider, if you consider the second equation, where it is written, Directly we wrote L2. L2 is in I2 only. L2 is in I2 only. L2. I1 minus I2. C1 already drawn. C3 is in second loop only. C3 is in second loop only. So we can draw here. C3 is in second loop. R2 is between second loop and third loop. R2 is between second loop and third loop. Applied voltage is V of T. That is also in this loop. Therefore, we have to draw here or here. In this loop only. Not a common. Therefore, we will draw here. That is V of T. V of T. That's all. About uh, this. Mm? V of T. The, it should be positive. The direction, uh, this should be positive. While writing uh, V of T, this should be positive because in the current direction, it should be positive. Okay. Then third loop, L3 is there. In the third loop, L3 is there. R2 is between, already we have drawn, 1 by C3. C3 is there. This is in this loop only. So we can draw here. C3. That's all. This is force voltage and all. Huh? See? C2 is uh, <coughs> which equation? Uh, L3, R2, C3. Only three elements only. Mass Mass, this is resistance, this is, uh, that's all, 
this is capacity uh, this is uh, inductance this is capacitance this is resistance only three elements 